Hi, Sam Barra for Class Winners Collector Vehicles, and we're again in the workshop garage putting the finishing touches on this wonderful 1955 Ford Thunderbird. And the reason we're here today is because when you turn on the accessory and go to the stereo, you get nothing. Well, I'm one of those guys who actually likes tunes in my car, and I'm feeling that Chuck Berry and early Beach Boys would be perfect music to listen to in this wonderful cruiser. But obviously, we're getting nothing, and I've already looked into it, and the fact of the matter is, is this stereo, which is an aftermarket cassette unit designed for the factory opening, probably was never working in this car when they tried to install it, because this car is a 6-volt positive ground. This is a 12-volt negative ground stereo. And although there is a 6-volt to 12-volt converter on this, they didn't set it up so it would switch from positive to negative. So when this unit touched the metal, it simply grounded out and blew it out. So we've got an issue. We can either put in this original T-Bird radio, which may or may not work, or we can put this in, take this out, and get a better option. Now, it is possible to get modern stereos with Bluetooth and even CD players and have positive ground uh, conversions and you use and make sure that they don't touch any metal in here to short them out. But the problem is they're like 600, 700 bucks. I've got a better solution. And here it is. This little unit. I bought it on Amazon. This is a 50 watt per channel, two channel amplifier with Bluetooth. This little tiny thing we can wire up so that it comes on with a key, gives us Bluetooth, and hooks right to the speakers that have been placed right here. This is an awesome piece of tech. It cost me $13. Now, you're probably asking, well, how does this work if this doesn't as a 12-volt negative ground? So the magic of this little 50-watt amplifier is that it only requires five volts minimum to run, and it can go all the way up to like 20 something. But it doesn't care if it is wired positive ground or negative ground. So what we need to do is we need to take these wires and hook them up so that we get the power wire coming from the ignition switch to give us the juice, and then just simply a ground. And on the back, they're just like a home stereo, a place to plug in the positive and negative for each of the speakers. Seems pretty simple. So we're going to actually take the existing power wire, which has a fuse connector on it, and solder this up, and then solder up a ground wire and we'll do that off camera because that's pretty simple standard stuff. But then we'll show you how easy it is to plug everything else in. And we've got the speaker wires just dangling down under here, so we'll strip them and hook them up. Okay, so the next step is to take these speaker wires and put them in. Pretty simple, but kind of fiddly especially if you're an old guy like I am with bad eyes. Put it in there, use a jeweler's screwdriver to clamp her down. Okay, so what I've done is I connected the speaker wires to the back of the amp. And then I took the existing 
power wire coming from the accessory from the key position that has a little fuse in it and went right to the black wire plugging into the back of the unit. And I took the red wire and connected a little loop and screwed it in here at the ashtray. Now you'll also notice I took the opportunity to put the factory radio back in so it looks stock. It's not hooked up, but it looks cool. Now the question is, does it work? The new amp we put in. So let's check it out. Hey, there we go. And it says it's connected to my phone. So that's awesome. So the question is, does it actually play well? Let's see. Hey, Chuck Berry plays just fine. Jaguar and Thunderbird, very apropos. So remember, you don't have to be an expert on this stuff. I, I found this little lamp by looking online. You can too. It's not that hard, just do the research, and it's a little fiddly stuff, but it works. And it turns a great classic into a great cruiser for the Bluetooth era. So enjoy your songs in your car. Tell me in the comments what your favorite cruising song is, is in, or what you think the best song is for a 1955 Ford Thunderbird. I'm Sam Bear from Class Winners Collector Vehicles. Life's too short for ordinary cars.